Hi there, my name is Michael Beal. I want to talk to you a little bit about tool pallets. Now, tool pallets are just probably the coolest, most productive feature that AutoCAD has to offer. They were introduced in AutoCAD 2004, and they've gotten better year after year after year. Tool pallets can contain blocks, commands, hatches, and macros. All right? Today, what I want to show you is something that I did here at Autodesk University this year. Uh, yesterday, what we want to do is we want to create our own tool palette, but let's open them up first. On the View tab, you have a palettes panel on which you will see the tool palettes. Now, for those of you who are what I call happy fingers and you like your hotkeys, Control 3 will open up the tool palette window. Control 3 is a toggle, of course. You do it once, she comes up, do it again, she goes off. All right? Up comes our default modeling tool palette, what I found in 2011. But what we want to do now is we want to make our own because maybe we want to put a command on there, such as something for text. So I'm going to right click on the title bar of the tool palette window and I'm going to go to new palette. Okay? So let's do, uh, we'll call it AU 2010. How about that? So we have a new tool palette. What I have over here is some text. Now this could be any drawing that you have that you want to open up and you like the text look, how, how, how the text looks. So you open it up. You select the text. Now, don't put your cursor on the grip. A lot of people want to put it on the grip. Don't put it on there. Put it on any letter. We're going to click. We're going to breathe. We're going to drag it over and drop it right onto the palette. What's that mean? That means I can go to any other drawing. So I'll go to some other drawing. I'll just start a new drawing. And before we look at that, however, what we'll see is that when I take a look at the properties, I have my AU Notes layer that's on there. AU Textile is on there. I'll click OK, and to use a command right off the palette, we'll click that button. Prompt says, where do you want your start point? I say right there, how tall do you want it? Ah, I don't know, about 12 inches high, so you all can see it. And let's say Autodesk uh, University or something like that. So what we see here is that even though that particular layer was not in the drawing, that particular textile was not in the drawing, we put a command on the palette, bring it into any drawing on the planet, works like a champ. That's just one of the things you can do with tool palettes.